there's no question, having a Hoya in the White House was a special moment. Uh, it was great to be part of that, great to be affiliated with that. Half of the White House um, <laughs> had been through Georgetown. All of us, one way or another, have this kind of Georgetown DNA that intertwines in some of the work that we've done. So we had a common philosophy, if not a common language. It was drilled into you, this sense of there's a world around you, there are people whose lives you should be able to touch and affect. Georgetown influence and color the way I think about the world today and my work in politics and my work in government. From the way I analyze policy issues to the idea that there needs to be an underlying morality and philosophy behind what the government does. The inquisitiveness, the desire to seek truth, the commitment to hear other opinions and understand the other side of the argument better, those serve me very, very well. It's not just social justice, it's involvement. It's that you have an obligation. Uh, to be involved in your community, in your country, in your world. So now my career has been driven by public service, and that started at Georgetown. It just opened the world to me, that there were other places, other people, other things to learn, other opportunities, that you could do all of those things and still have a life that was focused on doing things for others. I was the general counsel for the 92 convention where he was nominated. I proudly accept your nomination for Once President. Bill Clinton was the nominee and you saw him and heard him, there was no question that he had really what it takes. And that's what this election is really all about. There was a group of people, it was a kind of a new generation of political people, people my age, formed kind of the core of the campaign. And it was exciting to work with them, exciting to be part of it, exciting to be working for a candidate so young who wanted to bring about change, a real change in our country. In 1995, he was looking for someone to work on the re-election campaign. I interviewed with a couple of people, and next thing I know, I'm spending 45 minutes one evening in the Oval Office. He had a very firm idea of what he wanted, uh, and at the end of it, I was excited. I was charged up to, you know, to be part of it. If you look at everything from how he ran in 1992 to the work that we did, it was all about building that bridge to the 21st century, to the future. That is where the Georgetown motto comes in hand. Working together, we're here for something bigger than ourselves. I look back with some measure of pride that at the end of the day, we still made some real progress on fundamental issues. Bill Clinton was proud of saying that he helped build a bridge to the 21st century. I look back now and say that that was really true. The president has said more than one occasion that he thinks that he would not have been president had he not gone to Georgetown. It was clear that he got some things out of this place that were critical to him and how he viewed the world. Georgetown helped root what he stood for, which is why over the course of eight years, Georgetown was the place that we made big policy announcements. I thank my former classmates, some of whom I see out here. The important speeches, the broad speeches about setting up, not here's what I'm going to do today, here's what I'm trying to do for the next generation were given in Gaston Hall. As a Hoya, it made me proud that they were given at Georgetown, and that was no accident. Let us find a new common ground. President Clinton taught all of us who worked for him that the best possible politics was the best possible government. President Clinton really set the groundwork for a lot of the peace and prosperity the country's enjoyed since then.